Good morning everyone, it's Tuesday and we are continuing our work on 2D shapes. Today we're focusing on quadrilaterals. Our success criteria include that we recognise and classify familiar two-dimensional shapes using obvious features. We can recognise that rectangles and squares are quadrilaterals quadrilaterals, sort 2D shapes by their features, locate quadrilateral shapes in the environment. And we continue to use some of the words from our vocabulary wall. Um, so have a look below and see if there's some words that you might use when you're describing the shapes today. Okay, quadrilaterals. This means four sides. Quad is four. So quad means four and lateral means sides. A quadrilateral is a 2D shape that is closed with four straight sides. Quadrilaterals have four vertices. The shapes below are all types of quadrilaterals. We have a parallel, parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, square, trapezium, and a kite. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at these. Okay, so as we just said, what is a quadrilateral? A 2D shape. It has four sides. All of its sides are straight. And we also know that it has one, two, three, four. What do we call those again? What was the word we were learning about yesterday? That's right, four vertices. Okay, let's take a look at a rhombus. Do you know what the properties of a rhombus are? All four sides are of equal length. Opposite sides are parallel. What other name could be given to a rhombus? We spoke about this a little bit yesterday, where we confuse it with another shape, or it's actually part of that shape family. A parallelogram. Okay, let's have a look at a parallelogram now. It has two pairs of equal parallel sides. A rhombus is a type of parallelogram, which property means that not all parallelograms are rhombuses. In a rhombus, all of the sides are equal. Okay, do you know what the properties of a trapezium are? That's right, they have four sides. They have four vertices, you're right, well done. And has one pair of parallel lines or parallel sides. A kite, do you know what the properties of a kite are? Okay, say them to me. That's right, four vertices and four sides. It has two pairs of equal sides and has diagonal lines. Okay, this is your task today. So in your Google Classroom, there will be a 2D shape word map. So you can either just use that as a guide or you can, um, you can actually print it out and cut out the shapes, but you don't have to. You can um, just draw the shapes onto the Venn diagram. So we're going to sort the quadrilaterals. So we want to use one of our Venn diagrams uh, one of the sides of our Venn diagram to um, put quadrilaterals in and then we can choose what we want here. We might choose in the middle to have um, things that they have in common or we might just choose to do two. So we might say on this side let's put quadrilateral shapes and on this side let's put other shapes. 
So have a think how you'd like to sort them. And um, we're going to practice sorting shapes on different attributes. So we might um, look at how many sides a shape has, whether it has curved or whether it has straight sides. Um, and then in the other side, we want to make sure that we're sorting those quadrilaterals. So we really have a good understanding of what quadrilaterals are. Can you remember how many sides do they have? What does quad mean? That's right, quad means four. Okay, 